Hey guys, today I'm here to talk about a powerful psychological technique for reducing stress and anxiety in the moment. Have you ever noticed how we're great to give advice and we give fantastic advice to others, but when it comes to following our own advice, it doesn't always work so well. So there's a reason for this and we can actually use this. And the way we can use it is by using a technique which has been scientifically shown to reduce stress and anxiety called distance self-talk. And what distance self-talk is, is changing the way we talk to ourselves and actually shifting from a first-person perspective to a third-person perspective. So to illustrate that in context, a first-person perspective, if I was nervous about something, it would be, I am feeling nervous. I is first person. I am feeling anxious. If we shifted that to a third person perspective, it would be James is feeling nervous. James is feeling anxious about that task. So this very subtle shift of language actually changes the way our brain perceives the situation. And it's basically a psychological hack to shift our perspective and our point of view. And this tool is very powerful because it can be used when our mind is just chattering away and it's sort of doing more harm than good. And that's when this distance self-talk can be really effective. It's actually been shown by research to reduce stress, reduce anxiety and improve performance. For example, in a study, they got two groups and they gave them a very anxiety inducing task, public speaking. And I'm sure we all know how anxiety inducing that can be. And they broke them up into two groups, one that reflected on how they felt in first person. So, oh God, I'm feeling so nervous, like my stomach is tight. And the other group was third person, would be, say, James is feeling nervous, James's stomach is churning. And what they found is the group that used the distance self-talk or the third person, they experienced less shame, less embarrassment, and they actually described that they were less nervous and they felt like the task was easier. And the judges actually rated them as performing better. And what other researchers found is just this very subtle shift. Um, people were able to make better first impressions. You're able to solve stressful problems better. And it just facilitates more sort of logical reasoning. And interestingly enough, when you use this very subtle shift of first person to third person, what they found is the emotional response in the brain rapidly decreased. So within one second of using this powerful tool, the emotional response in the brain was actually dampened. So for an applied use of this, guys, next time you're in a stressful situation, try coaching yourself through it, but instead of reflecting on how you feel, take a third person perspective. So James is feeling very nervous, um, but you can even give yourself advice like, James is feeling nervous. You, you've prepared for this. You've got this. You've done this before. Just that very subtle shift that's not first person, you're saying you, you're talking to yourself as if you're someone else. That can be really powerful in helping reduce that stress and anxiety in the moment. So this is my first of many tools I'm going to release to help reduce stress and anxiety. If you guys like this tool, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe just to let me know that you want to see more of these. Thank you guys.